Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern. We're here in Orlando, Florida at Matrix Destination. I'm in the press room with, look who's there. Hey everybody. You say your last name. Dan Chichai. Dan Chichai, or as I called it, Dan Ses whatever. <laughs> We're gonna get to the bottom of that. But he's doing a whole class here on trend and talking about trend, but, but we just had a little pre-interview where he said it's more about knowing yourself and knowing your client. So I'm gonna flip it around on him and we're gonna let him tell you himself. First of all, Dan, let's just talk about your name. You're not CSI, CSI. <laughs> CSI Orlando, CSI Dan. <laughs> well, people remember it that way, so I always say it's like the TV show. And when what is it? What's it's Hungarian are? and it's uh, pronounced Chi Chai. It's actually easy to say, just hard to spell. And what's so cool about that is when you went to Hungary. Like oh my gosh, everybody knew my name. It was the first time in my life that I go to check into a hotel and I didn't even have to do that. It sounds like, you know, it starts off with CSI like the TV show. I just hand in my ID. They go, oh, Mr. Chichai, thanks for being here. You know, it was great. <laughs> so I only have you for a couple minutes and I want to talk to you about trend. And when we were talking about it, you said you just, just don't, don't dive into a trend. You have to what? You have to own it first and you have to own and believe in yourself. Don't strive to be somebody else. Know who you are and grow and make that big. And when you do that, that's going to set you apart. Not trying to act or recreate somebody else, but just you, you got a beautiful thing inside of you and I wish that all of us know that and grow from that and that's what's going to give you success. You know, it's really funny that you say that because one thing I'm noticing here is there's a lot of love. There's a lot of love here at this show and it's 2,000 hairdressers. I'm talking about strobing. I know that's your big thing this right. weekend. So what is strobing? So strobing is a makeup technique that's really hot right now that concentrates on layering on highlights to really bring out the beautiful features and the face. So we've taken that concept and just changed it into hair color. So really layering in highlights, whether you use foils or what's huge right now, of course, is balayage. So it's taking that concept of highlighting and just really thinking about where do we want to place that highlight to bring out the best feature on that client. And what have you, um, do you have any special tips on, on strobing? On strobing, it's all about being seamless. And in fact, when I do teach my balayage classes, I reference makeup to this makeup application to the application of the lightener. I always say, when you put blush on, you don't take your brush and do this and apply the blush. You blend it out, and that's the same principle that you should be using when you're doing a balayage. It's about making it beautiful before you even see the results. When you apply the lightener on the hair, it should be a beautiful, seamless application. Okay, and then my last question is, mounting a show like this, what, what's involved from your perspective? I know there's getting models and fashion and blah, blah, blah. I mean, how overwhelming is that? It was a huge, I love challenges, and this challenge started a year ago. No exaggerations. Yeah, we're in the end of January, right? <laughs> Sorry, I can't remember the date. We started in the beginning of January last year. We were given the task of this is the, what we want you to share with the audience, you come up with a plan. So it's really great that Matrix does that with us as artistic directors, that they really give us the freedom to know what our audience wants and we come up with the concept. We're not given a script, we work together as a team and the whole point is like Maggie was saying, it's, a, it's about sharing and having that love and connecting with the hairdresser. And I know that sounds like you know, fairy tale, you know, pixie dust everywhere, but it's the truth. I mean, any disasters, any, any like models, no show. Any... Oh my God. I wish I had some good, funny stories, yeah, but <laughs> we had the absolute best models, especially for last night. We had a lot of hair pieces and you know, I'm putting in pins thinking, okay, she's going to start screaming any second now. And the models were so into it that I said, does this hurt? She goes, I don't care. Do it. I want to look good. I mean, honestly, Maggie, it was the best models we've ever I've ever had. Wow, that's great. All right. So, um, how do people follow you? Find you? What? What? I am on Instagram more than I am on Facebook, but a lot of my. I would say 99% of my Instagram is my photography work. I also do photography and um, hair, so I will post more hair, but I but love what photography. Is, what, is, what is your... Oh, is I'm at, sorry, yeah. at Dan Chichai. So if you type in D-A-N-C-S-I, it usually pops up. It's easy to remember the first three, C-S-I, and then the rest of my last name, that's it. All right, well, we'll be following. Thanks so much, Dan. <laughs> Thanks for this time, and congratulations on such a great show. Thank you so much. wonderful. Okay, we'll see you. Bye-bye.